Today, our three months long Maldives adventure finally begins, and we are heading to our first out of 30 local islands. We are now at a ferry terminal and we are about to hop on a local ferry. Here at this terminal, as you can see, there are a lot of people waiting in here. The terminal, these people are actually going to different islands. It's not just the island we are going to. They have different islands that they're going to right now. As you can see, there is a boat pulling up right now. This is a ferry, and this is actually the most affordable way you can travel within islands in the Maldives. We are now boarding. The boat just pulled up here in Guli Island. This is the first stop on this ferry, Guli Island. We will be visiting this island. As you can see, there's actually a shark down there. There's a nurse shark right down there. This island is beautiful. We were here the last time. And now this ferry is going to move on to the next island, which would be Mafushi. One thing that you need to know when you are on this public ferries, when you're using them, you have to be at the dock. Why? Because the transfer is super fast. As soon as the boat docks, whoever's getting off, they get off really quick. They grab their suitcases. And most of the people who are getting on, you should technically be at that dock. Because if you don't, it, the, the transfer between two islands literally takes about two minutes. So make sure you are there when that boat rolls up. We are now approaching our second leg of this ferry ride to our final destination. Male to Guli, it was about an hour and 20 minutes. Now that time varies, it depends on what, you, what time of the year you come, the waves. So it give or take, that's the time. Now from Guli to Mafushi, as you can see behind me, we're getting ready to pull up. That was about 20, 25 minutes. So let's see what the third leg and the last one will be as far as timing. What you will notice is that most of the people on this ferry will be getting off here in Mafushi because Mafushi is one of the most popular islands. Actually, it is the most popular island here in the Maldives. As you can see, there's a lot of hotels being built here. There's a lot of water sports, a lot going on. And this was actually the first island that accepted tourism. So it's been built out, it's made for tourism. And as you can see, everyone behind me, they're getting ready to leave. We will be on this island for about two weeks. We will be going alive every single day. I'll show you the beauty of this island. And look how beautiful it is. Again, this is the most popular island here in the Maldives. As you can see, hotels are being built. By the time you come here, those hotels will probably be already built. There are a few people getting ready to come board. Here are the few people, and as you can see, they take your luggage, they put it on one of these carts, and they wheel you to your hotel. That is the process. And just like that, we have arrived. Helping us with the luggage. Thank you. And we have arrived! Welcome to video Thank, Thank you, you so much! This is beautiful. Thank you. Of course. Wow. Ice cold towel. Thank you so oh, much. And the drinks <laughs> look so beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. Cheers. Cheers. We just checked into room 502, located on the fifth floor. They do have an elevator, and this is what our room looks like. Oh. A beautiful flower decorations. Thank you so much, Beach Hotel. And they have a balcony. Check this out. See how close the other resort is, where they pay thousands of dollars, and we literally can walk there or yeah. see the spring there. It's right across from us. Literally, they told us that when the tide is actually low, you can walk across and the water's up to your knees. So that's really, really interesting here. Wow. And of course, as you see, it's sunset. We just got here, just arrived. This room is so beautiful. So as you can see, we have our desk here. We have our stuff laid out already and charging. Lot to show you guys. And the bathroom is really nice.
Good morning. It is another beautiful day here on Guraidu. Irina is upstairs sleeping. It is just about six, just about six o'clock um, a.m. I woke up because it's sunrise, and I'm also up because I have to live stream. And as we've mentioned in other videos. We will be live streaming every single day for the three months that we are here. And I usually do sunrise walk and then we do sunset walk. And I do that one with Irina because obviously she'll be awake. Right now she's upstairs knocked out. So I just wanted to show you guys just how beautiful this island really is. And especially in the morning times. Right now the sun technically would have been up about... 40 minutes ago the sunrise is roughly around 5 30 in the morning here but it's slightly overcast so you really can't see the sun in the sky already because there are some uh clouds in the sky but nonetheless let's just take a look at the scenery all right as you can see i'm done with the live stream two hours and 30 minutes of live streaming walking around the island and i got the princess with me so now we are heading for breakfast um actually irena woke up a little while ago because she was actually in the live stream that's when i know she's awake when i'm live streaming and all of a sudden she pops into the live stream i'm like okay my princess is awake time to go upstairs now get coffee get breakfast so now we're taking you on breakfast as you can see it's a little overcast today it was raining yesterday actually while i was live streaming someone in the live stream told me yeah i'm in male which is an, an island here in the maldives and they're like it's raining here and i thought maybe the rain was going to come here yeah this morning oh. But um, they said it's actually just, uh, it was just blowing past. So hopefully we don't get any rain. We would like to go to the beach later. We don't know. Let's see how the day turns out. But first things first, breakfast. So as we mentioned, a lot of the local islands are so different than the other one. You might think, oh, it's a local island. It's a local island. Not really here. It's like the islands are different, different vibes. And we notice here the colors, right? Yes, yeah, so buildings, the local homes have different colors. Yellow, pink, blue, green, fuchsia pink, a really bright and fun. Yes. And now currently we're walking on Main Street. And obviously on Main Street is where you will find a lot of, there's a, some hotels here on the street, but you will find a lot of stores, souvenir shops, uh, dive centers, excursion centers and all the goodies here on the street. I see some people in the distance. I think they just came off a, a boat because the harbor is right towards the end of the island. And this island is so narrow, you could stand here and look at the end of the island on that side and turn around and you'll see the other end of the island. So it's very narrow. Buraidu Island does not have too many lush jungle forest. All the greenery is you see is pretty much around locals home the locals themselves just planted the trees and uh, different bushes and flowers in the pots like you can see over here and you don't really uh, get this uh, beautiful uh, stretch of palm trees that's for other islands this morning in the live stream my husband was talking about 1000 rufia note and we just came for breakfast to lavo and look what we have we spoke to the owners and they gave us this this is a whale shark on one side and a turtle on the other side this is literally the prettiest banknote for breakfast we came to the spot level we saw it as we were walking by the harbor it's located on the second floor downstairs is actually uh an excursion shop the owner owns this restaurant as well as downstairs so and he to... also owns the water sports yes so we decided to come up here for breakfast they seem like amazing people and we are having the moldavian traditional breakfast roshi and, and masuni, masuni. And we have a beautiful view of the harbor and nice breeze. So if you're wondering what masuni is, it is basically shaved coconut with minced tuna, diced red onions, curry leaves, and it's all blended with a nice squeeze of lime. And they all incorporate and it together. chili powder also, right? The chili powder, yeah. Sometimes pepper, they use uh, pepper in it. Uh, it's chili pepper. So it's absolutely amazing. And we're about to dig in. One of the major reasons why we love the Maldives is the rich marine life. And you don't have to go far to see it. 
many islands right at the harbor you can see amazing things for example here on Guraidu we just were walking by the harbor enjoying the views and we saw a stingray swimming by right by the seawall wow look at that two of them mm -hmm. i saw only one before they just go back and forth so when you're in guraidu be sure to walk by the harbor and see if you can find some big all the islands in the maldives are developing and guraidu is actually expanding it's growing land wise the island itself is really small the natural island but the government is adding land to the island and that's why you see especially at the harbor some sand extra sand over here and they're adding land for the local community to build, build more residents and expand the tourism as well when we saw this hotel we were like this has to be done by an artist for sure look at the side of this hotel like there's glass siding and faces kind of creepy and then on this side it looks like they literally just took paint splattered it on this wall and then they put toilet bowls with legs and it says 2929 so maybe that's the name of the hotel 29.9 because i see it on the side of the hotel as, as also yeah it's, it all says 29.9 artist toilet people's toilet people's toilet queen's, queen's toilet. toilet i don't know the significance there's also a horse here made out of wood the tree has i don't know lines Strings. fishing lines I, I, it must mean something i don't know what the artist has in mind whoever knows what artists have in mind the lamps on the outside of the balcony is like uh watering pots or tea kettles there's numbers it says 2992 again i think the name of the hotel is called 29.9 .9. that is the name of the hotel and that's why they have 29 all over the place there's a chessboard on the side like abstract art there's an octopus it says birth of the octopus and i thought maybe that was the name of the hotel but it's not it's 29.9 then there's like a prison here and it says your fears can imprison you i agree with that statement let me know if you agree with that statement in the comment also it says your thoughts can imprison you i believe in that one also so be careful of what you think and look at that the octopus it's cool they have sandals going all over the side of the building look like ants <laughs> So really cool design. It's the first time I've seen a hotel like this in the Maldives. Really cool. All right, so we have changed. The weather is beautiful. We had a nice breakfast. Now we are headed to the Bikini Beach. Finally, some beach time. Yeah. Just a three minute walk from our hotel and we are here. Look at this. The Bikini Beach is gorgeous here. They literally picked the best beach for us, for tourists, and we really appreciate it. After some swimming, we have worked up an appetite. And now we're just gonna have a little pick-me-up, a little coffee little snack before we continue on with our day we're streaming live today from the harbor as we're watching sunset and i cannot believe it i just looked down and saw a giant black eel it's coming out of the rocks right at the harbor opening its mouth right now it's so hard to see on camera because the water is glaring but it's amazing how much you can see right from the harbor wow let me tell you a cool story last night as we were streaming live um, the owner of a good bros restaurant here uh, on Guraidu Island reached out to us and invited us for dinner. So we decided to go and taste their cooking. Wow, good bros restaurant? Amazing. I really did not expect it. Mm -hmm. This was like gourmet meal. This literally was the best meal we've had on this island and it, we highly were really impressed and highly recommended yes. we got to speak to the chef he is incredible he worked on many islands here in the maldives and um, if you are on buraidu be sure to stop at good bros 
We thank you so much for watching and we also thank the Beach Hotel Guraidu for hosting us uh, for four nights. We had an incredible sleep there. The rooms are super comfortable. Amazing. And if you would like the scenery of the ocean, they have the sea view rooms, but our favorite was the comfort room comfort because we have a lot of luggage and we need a space. little bit more space. And of course, we try to look out for you and get you the best deals and discounts and Beach Hotel Guraidu offered us a discount just for you. We're not getting any commissions from that. We just thank you for watching by giving you this discount which you can find in the description below. And that is it from Guraidu. This was our last night here. We are heading to the next island. Want to know what that island is? Stay tuned.